Hi, I'm Nick Merrigan. And I'm Nicole Merrigan. And we're the creators and founders of Nick's Legendary Entertainment Center, where ordinary fun turns legendary. <laughs> so as a parent of Angeles, I found that we are lacking in the family entertainment venues. Um, what we do have is poorly operated or low quality indoor opportunities. And we have no parent focused, kid friendly areas for families to socialize and play. So the solution we have is to create a facility with multiple attractions. One of the attractions would be a laser tag, which we have uh, Delta Strike as the top of the line laser tag equipment. And we have Betson's uh, state-of-the-art arcade that they want to put in. And then we have Creative Works creating a theming uh, all around the facility and they'll create an 18-hole miniature golf course inside. We would like to offer moderate pricing for food services, uh, which will allow families to be able to sit around the table and eat together as family. And then we'll have celebration rooms, not only for birthdays, but corporate events. So our primary, primary target audience is Port Angeles and the surrounding 50 miles, uh, mainly due to our geographic setup. And our, the Clallam County population is just over 78,000, and uh, one site says 2.49 million visitors annually. Some say over three, so I think, uh, you know, we have a lot of visitors, so. Um, revenues are gonna be based on 60% casual walk-in traffic, and then 40% uh, contracted birthday and private rentals. Uh, our basic revenue streams will include uh, an entrance play, which can include a, a one-time for mini golf or laser tag for ten dollars. We've got an all-day pass for mini golf or laser tag for twenty dollars, and then a play day combo that consists of two hours of unlimited play of, of either the mini golf or laser tag, and then it includes a twenty-dollar um, arcade theme card uh, for a total of thirty-five dollars among other specials and events that we have. Our projected net operating income for the first year would be 605,000. For the second year, go up a percentage point at 615,000. And then by year three, it'd go up another 5% at 661,000. Some of our local competitors um, include the Arcade at the Wharf, uh, which offers birthday packages and is located downtown. Uh, we've got a red line laser tag, which is a new, um, a new outdoor mobile laser tag service, uh, which off also off offers birthday packages. Now, Nix, we provide birth or offer birthday packages. Uh, we have attendance at the attraction, so if there was any problem, it could get fixed right away. And we have a prime location downtown where there'd be multiple attractions and food so people could go eat and have fun all under the same roof. Uh, this is going to be an exciting new tourist attraction that allows um, families to, and visitors to stay beyond just the Olympic National Park. Right now our focus is mostly on outdoor and the park. Um, but this is going to allow us to have people stay that extra night or that extra, a little bit longer. And then it's a safe, fun indoor space for the locals uh, where they can visit legends from around the world. And everybody knows during the off season it's really rainy, so this is something they can do instead of, you know, stay at home. Um, our theming is not only going to include, it be included in for the attractions, but it's going to be incorporated through the entire facility. So our market plan in 2022, we've started uh, word of mouth and Facebook and Earn Media, and we're trying to push our way into the uh, booths at, at the events during the summer. And then during the fourth quarter, we just want to start uh, being in the newspaper, the local newspaper and the radio, and uh, start crowdfunding. Beginning of 2023, we would like to begin our website and Instagram account, um, and then Quarter two and quarter three, we would like to start a job fair um, to be able to fill the positions of um, us opening and then do our press release for our ribbon cutting, soft and trend opening. 
Now, we're your funding team. We've been founding team. Sorry. <laughs> uh, we've been in the area for nearly 11 years. Uh, we've been foster parents for four plus years, and we've been doing extensive research in this uh, industry for over 10 months now, and we have 60 plus hours combined in the FEC industry. Now, earlier this year, we con contracted with Turfway Entertainment Management, and they gave us a 175-page executive summary, which contained a business plan, a feasibility study, a five-year outlook, and, and much more. There's a lot. <laughs> um, and most recently, we um, gained some traction on Facebook. Um, I challenged everybody to a 21-day bingo challenge. They kind of let everybody know we were going to be here presenting. Um, and to tell them, hey, Port Angeles, let's show the investors that you guys are also invested in this and you want to see this. And we, I challenged them to a bingo in the 21 days and they, after seven days, accomplished our bingo um, and continued working past that and we actually got a blackout by default, but it was a blackout. Um, we got all the tasks completed. We nearly doubled our followers. Um, and we're not even an open business, but we nearly double our followers, so we're up to about 411 now. Um, but by default, they could not officially complete one of the squares because Facebook updated their platform, their Facebook, and eliminated the like button on Facebook pages. <laughs> so we have to stop at 65. <laughs> so the next thing we need is we need to secure property. Uh, we have our eye on 124, or yeah, 124 East First in Port Angeles, which has plenty of square footage for what we want to put in there. And there's lots of foot traffic downtown and uh, ferry foot traffic as well. So not only people in town can go to it, but people can walk on from Victoria and walk to the entertainment center. After securing a property, we will look at remodeling it, making sure it's up to the code. And then we'll install the attractions. And once we have those put in, we can open for business. So if you have any other questions or would like to reach out, you can reach us through phone, email, or check out our Facebook page at Future Port Angeles Family Entertainment Center. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Excellent. Who has questions for Nick and Nicole? So it looks like your projected opening date is uh, quarter three of 2023. That's our, that's our plan, but obviously if we can't find property and get things accomplished, especially with COVID and remodels and contracts and permits, it could push that back, but that's our goal. Thank you. Yes. So the property at 124 East Front, is that something you're in conversation with the realtor on? And Yes, That's actually, how far along is that? Yeah, we, we uh, viewed the property a couple times now. Um, uh, Dave, our consultant through um, Turfway Entertainment, was able to view it as well. And there's a lot of, um, in the industry, we typically are looking for certain things like high ceilings and open floor plans. And what we struggle with in our town is that we don't have as I say, at grocery stores just closed down out of nowhere. Yes, I know SARS just closed down, though it, it doesn't fit in our needs, but um, it, it fits the needs that we have in the location, which would be downtown. So um, it allows us to have the square footage. The ceilings are still a manageable height and different things like that. But um, we do truly think that that's gonna be the best opportunity for us to move forward. Is, uh, is Turfway like, just a consultant or is a franchiser or a stakeholder in the organization? Um, he, so Dave is the um, founder and operator of that, and I think it's a three-man team. But they have been in the industry for, I believe it was like 30 or 40 years now. Um, and he's been consulting, I believe, for the last 10 years on his own um, with his team. So this is what they do is, is essentially find people like us and they, they know the industry's ins and outs um, and the trends throughout and create packages, which is what we've done. So. Oh, they'll own some of the business, right? Yeah. Well, they'll own some of the, will they own any of the no. business? No. No, they're just a contractor to get us the feasibility study and all of the data behind it. 